Got him. Big brown. Oh my gosh. That was so sick. I was just casting right in the little slack water right there where these fish could be feeding. That's actually a nice rainbow. Let's go. First fish at this spot. Literally just got down here. I saw a fish rise up over there. That's a nice rainbow. Let's go on the fly, on the streamer. Staying true to my Scottish streamer that I've been throwing today. That fish just absolutely crushed it. We'll get him right back. Wow, that was pretty crazy. I came down to the river with pretty low expectations due to the fact that the flows are about a foot higher than usual. The clarity is super off. And it seemed like these fish would be hard to get to, especially on the fly rod. But I ended up finding this little eddy right here where the current actually wraps around, makes a little whirlpool right here. As you can see, the current out there is super strong. I'm not sure if the fish are actually gonna wanna be out there. And if they are, they're gonna be harder to catch. So I started casting in this little back eddy. It just goes to show, oh my God, another one. Oh my gosh, there we go. Oh, he's off, he's off. And like I was saying, it just goes to show you really got to get out there, explore your water and see for yourself how these fish are acting. Because if I solely went off how the flows were looking and my confidence initially going into it, I'd probably still be home on the couch, not even out here fishing. Honestly, for me, it's come to the point that if I ever want to get out and fish, I always go because you never know how the bite's going to be. And I can tell you guys one thing for sure. You're not going to catch any fish sitting at home. It's hands down the best free therapy to ever exist. You can just get out here, clear your mind, catch some fish, enjoy the beautiful outdoors. So I hit the river today for the sole purpose of taking in all the positivity that nature has to offer. I've definitely been in a tough place recently, a lot's been going on, but being in an environment like this just allows me to clear my head. And that's what I love about nature and the outdoors. You can take anything that you're thinking about and come to a logical conclusion because you're outside and you're in an environment that facilitates that sort of thought. Nature for me is a place that just makes sense. Everything out here interacts with each other in such a beautiful way. And when I see that, I'm able to clear my mind and literally figure things out. So I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys get outside and feel the same way that I do when I'm out here. All right, so we just made it down to the river. Finally found a spot with pretty good flows. Yo, Jake's got a fish on. Dude, are you kidding me? That was your first cast? Nice wild one on the spinner. Dude, that's a good one. That's crazy, dude. First cast on the spinner. All right, it's looking like we're gonna have a good day. The first spot was super blown out. We couldn't even fish it. I guess all it means is that if we find clear flows and a little bit lower water, we're gonna be slamming these fish today. Oh, dude. That's the biggest one I've seen out of here, bro. Yo. Wait, what did you say your PV wild brown was? Like 20. My first wild brown was like when we were fishing. I caught that little. Oh, like the, the, the two incher. Link. Wait, so this is your PV wild brown? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, no way. There's something about using like retarded stuff fly fishing that kind of like, oh! That's a cast. I'm gonna try these little shrimp flies. Yeah, <laughs> who knows dude. These browns might be keying onto the shrimps, got them. Yes. Big one dude. Let's go. Dude, that's the fish that kept biting. Just got a nice brown on the Scottish streamer. Staying true with my Scottish blood right here. Just catching browns in Jersey. Hell yeah, dude. That's a decent one. Dude, the fish fight so hard on the fly. It's sick. Running me straight downstream. Just keeping the pressure. Oh my God. Dude, is this like a 10 pounder? Do you usually reel up the line to fight them? Uh, it's, it's already tangled. What should I do? Oh my god. Oh. All right. Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, he's taking me way downstream. Woo. All right, I think, I think we can get him down here. Oh my god, dude. I've never had a brown trout fight this hard. You got him, dude? Oh, no, no. Oh, wait. Oh. Ooh, this looks good down here. It's beautiful, man. Like, the scenery around here. 